Hello and welcome to the first vlog of 2016. Probably not going to be as long today. In fact, all those months will probably be shorter than I've been putting out, but that's perfectly fine because, hey, they're more digestible for you. So eat up. Okay, so today I'm just going to share a story uh, about my life. Oh. A few weeks back on Christmas, I opened up one of my presents and found out that my wife had given me a gift that I'd never received before. Tickets to an NFL game. I've never been to a game in person, never been to any stadiums. Uh, well, I've been to baseball games and way back when went to an Indians game in Cleveland Municipal, so technically I was in a football stadium. This was a great present for me uh, because I've always wanted to experience an NFL game live and in person. I've always felt that I would prefer to watch from home and be comfortable, but I always wanted to go to one just for the experience. And I have to say, I'd love to go to more, I think. So anyway, she got me tickets to the season finale of the regular season, week 16 in Cleveland. Browns versus Steelers. Woo -hoo, gee, I wonder who I was cheering for. The Steelers needed a win to get into playoffs, and they needed the Bills to beat the Jets. And by the time we left the stadium, we were in the playoffs. Woohoo! Yay! If you don't like the Steelers, please bear with me. The story's fun. While we were there, it was it was cold. It was the first day of really getting any snow, and it didn't stick, but we got it. The tickets that my wife got were way up at the top row. I mean, wait, seriously, it was the last row. It was a rough climb to get up there, but it was really good because we were underneath that awning. We were right at the top of the stairs, so we didn't have to ask uh, anyone to let us out if we needed to go down the stairs. And we were far enough in that the crowd on our left side managed to give us a nice windbreak as well so that we weren't too cold. And I think the most enjoyable part was we were seated in a section where there wasn't a lot of trash talk going on. We were probably about a 50-50 mix on Steelers fans and Browns fans in our section. And aside from one incident where there was a Browns fan that was getting up and just being really rambunctious, I don't know what he was saying, I was too far away, but whatever he said, uh, he had two different Steelers fans in tandem, well not in tandem, but uh, in succession, stand up and talk to him and you know everyone just sat down no fight broke out or anything and there were no items of trash thrown on the field at any point i'm looking at you cincinnati i had some steelers fans beside me that i was able to high five when good things happen uh, i had some browns fans around me that you know they uh, they tolerated my cheering when good stuff happened for pittsburgh it was a really enjoyable experience for me and i got to share it with my wife my best friend and a story that i'm going to be sharing for years because hey not only did i get to experience an nfl game i got to see my team win the game pretty decisively in order to clinch their playoff spot so that's, that's, that's pretty cool for me and i'm going to be telling that story for a long time because I don't know when the next time I'll get to see an NFL game in person is. So that's the story. Uh, I mean, it might not be the best story in the world, especially if you're a Browns fan, but uh, it was my story. I got to share in something with my wife, who is a huge Steelers fan and is my best friend. And it was quite possibly the best Christmas present I've ever received. So that's it for this week. Like I said, shorter than you're probably used to getting from me. And uh, the rest of the month probably be the same, probably be recorded remotely, trying to shave some of my time uh, each month to be a little more productive in other areas. But I'm still going to be telling stories. So you keep watching, and I will keep sharing these stories. <laughs> yeah!